Ten-year-olds don't often learn about drones in class, but this was a special weekend learning session called STEM. The acronym stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Math. The goal, motivate girls to consider these studies as career paths. So 500 girl guides from New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island got an eye and earful of science. UNB professor Dr. Sanjeev Sarah is the director of ARMS, or the Atlantic Association for Research in Math Sciences. Our society is becoming more technological and things are becoming more technical. And the way that our economy evolves, the way that our society is evolving, uh, it really makes sense to have a good grounding in STEM in order to have future success in life. So I want to make sure that girls get a chance to um, be exposed to these things and think about these things as a potential career path. So algorithms are like a uh, recipe, right? ARMS and UNB hosted the camp. New Brunswick Girl Guides Commissioner Beth Campbell. Girls are underrepresented in the science fields, so this will hopefully uh, give them an idea of what uh, they can do in their future and uh, careers they can uh, venture into. Will the second one bite you? Like, why does it bite you? So that one is called a Dobson fly. It's a big predator. So it to some children, learning about insects might be scary. Fish. But Dahlia Como is thrilled with this session called Stream Technology. Um, I really think it's interesting because I really like, like little insects and it's what it's about. And um, uh, I like the way that the people were talking in it too. It was, nice. it was like really like you get like into it. This is called Squash and Stretch and it makes our characters a lot more fluid. The Girl Guides also learned what causes landslides, how an MRI works, harms caused by spruce budworms, and they got to play math basketball. Well, I think it's really awesome and very cool. Well, I hope I learn a lot, and um, I was just doing the animation thing, and I really like animating because I like art and stuff. So I really like when you mix like art and science. This is just such an amazing opportunity for our girls. Some of these girls are, you know, only nine years old, and for them to have a chance to see actual professors, a lot of really interesting, educated women teaching these sessions, and they're learning about computer coding and, and you know, streams and entomology and bugs, and we've done some 3D printing. It's just such a great chance for them to get to think about what's out there. STEM camp also gave the girls the opportunity to experience a university campus for the first time. Well, they're going to come around, they're going to spend some time on UNB campus, they're going to get to experience a little bit of, of what it's going to be like to be at a university, and they're also going to get to interact with a lot of university faculty, postdocs, graduate students. So they'll be staying in the residence, um, they're eating in the cafeteria, they'll experience the regular university life, which will hopefully take away some of the anxiety that girls feel as they get closer to that age and trying to decide what they want to do. Well, hopefully this will reduce the anxiety in making those decisions for their future. Next year, Dalhousie University will host STEM. We hope to show more applications into especially oceanography and uh, showing what STEM does in the oceans and what all the different aspects are there. And we hope to do something with medicine as well, show students really that math has a bearing on all of life.